the Joe Hack Show. I'm a little sick, so bear with my nasally voice, but in uh, my first video, I showed you guys just the basics of Cydia, how to access repos, how to download applications for no cost. So this one, I'm going to show you a couple of my, my favorite tweaks. Uh, first, as you can see, my icons look different than yours may. This is done with a winter board, this icon here. So you can select themes. Um, there's a lots of downloadable content inside the Cydia application that allows you to download a bunch of different themes. And then you can apply those themes. As you can see, I'm using the 360 HD. Some will change a lot of things. Some won't change that much, but it just depends on the actual theme that you choose. So if I were to change something, it would actually say Respring up here. Uh, but I have not changed anything, so I will not say that, so I'll just back out of that. So that's how I'm running this this theme. Um, now, Dream Board is almost exactly like Winter Board, but on crack. Because not only does it change your icons and some of your fonts and things like that, Dream Board will actually uh, change it into looking like something completely different. Now, you're not actually changing anything in the background. You're just changing the, the interface that you're using. But let's go to Arrow. So now my iPhone 5, as you can see at the bottom, there's a little blank space because it's not optimized for iPhone 5 yet, but 4s, 4s's, 3g's, they'll look perfect on. Um, and soon, just because the jailbreak tool just recently came out, they'll have them optimized for iOS or iPhone 5. So if I hit the start button, you can see I can access my mail, my Facebook, my messages, my iFile. I even have a sidebar. All this is customizable as well. So it's it's a pretty cool little thing that makes it look like you have a Windows phone. I click here and go to log off. It takes me back to Dreamboard, and now I can make mine look like a Galaxy S2 if I wanted to. Now these all have again you see at the bottom that it's not optimized optimized for iPhone 5 yet, but this has widgets. Everything kind of looks just like the Galaxy 4 or Galaxy S2. I'm sorry. To get back, I would just go to Dreamboard. Takes me back out. I go back to default. And then, again, there's hundreds, possibly thousands of dream board themes as well. So that's dream board. Um, iFile is a program that's used just to view uh, the directories on your phone without having to do other things to get into these areas. This is good for a number of different reasons. Um, some of the applications will have to have access to this. All right. That's iFile. Okay, 3G Unrestrictor is a great program. So a lot of people uh, don't know this, but if you have AT&T and the Unlimited Data Pack and bought the iPhone 5 thinking that you were going to get FaceTime over cellular, you are wrong. Uh, they make you change your data package to something that's limited in order to get that function. So what 3G Unrestrictor does is it tricks the application into thinking it's already on Wi-Fi. So sometimes you go to download a game, maybe you're on an LTE connection or a 4G connection, and it's over 25 megabytes and it won't let you download that from the App Store. So if you run 3G Unrestrictor here, you can see I have my App Store in there, my iTunes, and my mobile phone for FaceTime. So this allows me to do FaceTime over cellular without having to pay for it and getting a new data pack. What I'm using right now to record this is actually a city of tweak as well. It's called recorder here and it just uh, basically captures everything on the screen plus the audio that you're speaking XBMC is a really good program I can't actually go inside of it though because it'll cut off my audio here but XBMC is basically if you've seen sites like movies 2k or if you've seen sites like um, where they give you links to watch movies and things like that this kind of brings all that into one one centralized area for you and it allows you to get a lot of different movies for no cost uh... big u is a good one too big u is right here and it's basically going to it here it, um, it does have a, a membership associated with it so it's twenty dollars for a lifetime membership and you'll get basically a lot of movies that you can stream and watch as well so it's not available in the app store but once you jailbreak it's available in Cydia Alright, next one is OXO. This allows A-U-X-O. It allows my 
multitasker to become completely different, actually showing me what's going on in the application itself. Very cool tool. And it also gives me additional functionality. So this looks a little bit different. Also, if I scroll one more over, I can adjust the brightness of my device. I can use AirPlay. I can also turn off my Wi-Fi, turn off my Bluetooth, turn off my 3G data, turn it to AirPlay mode, put it on mute, turn on a flashlight, turn off my location, lots of different things. So it's a really good tool. Now, to get rid of or kill an application in this, all you have to do is grab and pull down. And it closes the application. If I hold, it'll ask me if I want to remove all of them. If you say yes, it'll just close them all out. So very easy to use. It also does simple little things like when you pull your your notification center down, it's actually coming, just taking the screen away as opposed to pulling the notification center down. Okay, up in the top left-hand corner of my screen, you should see that it looks like I have a beer where my AT&T symbol used to be. It's actually a Shiner Bach. That is an application that's called Zephyr. Or, I'm sorry, Zeppelin. So, some applications that you download from Cydia will have an icon. Some will just be in the settings menu, which is where I am now. So, if I go into Zeppelin, I can check these themes out. And again, you can download a bunch of these different things. Most of them are no cost through the Cydia store. And I can change to Autobots. You see in the top left there Baby Milo, uh, Batman symbol. This is just kind of a cool thing to customize Coca Cola. Corona, Assidia, Vader's pretty cool. I like the Stormtrooper and the Element symbol. Keep that one. Okay, next one I want to show you is called Zephyr. Right above that, Zephyr is basically if you if you have an iPad, you may be aware if you hold four fingers on it and swipe across, it goes between applications. So this kind of brings that functionality to your iPhone and it makes it really easy. You just have to pull from side to side. And you can adjust some settings inside there. So if I pull from side to side, it's going to go through the applications that I'm running. Pretty cool. Just allows multitasking a lot easier. So if I back out of that, those are some of my favorite Cydia hacks. Hope you enjoyed the show. Have a great day. That'll be it.